Dynasty 919, request taxi. Dynasty 919, runway 75 left, taxi via November Papa, November 1. The 46-meter-tall Taoyuan International Airport Air Traffic Control Tower has been providing services for over 40 years since 1979. In 2019, there were over 730 movements in Taoyuan International Airport per day, eight times more than when it first operated. The number is expected to exceed 1,100 by 2031. Over the past 40 years, the old tower has become more and more saturated due to operation systems expansion. To absorb the growth of passengers and cargo flights, Terminal 1 and 2 were expanded. New cargo warehouses and hangars were built, which affected the view from the old ATC tower. To enhance the safety and efficiency of its services, ANWS launched a comprehensive upgrade on the ATC tower. The ATC Tower is not only an airport landmark, but also has to meet functional requirements of air traffic services. The new ATC Tower is designed by ADPI and Sinotech Engineering Consultants Limited. We will concept design of the project. Uh, here it's a good place to, to speak about it because we are in the control tower. The shape of, the, of, the, of this uh, statue, this statue has been uh, disrupted it has been uh, sculpted by the winds. In fact, it's the same kind of position like our control tower in the center of the platform, but with all the wind coming on one side. It's the eccentric design above the sixth floor of the new tower is meant to downsize the northeast side of the tower and reduce window opening. Construction of the new tower began on July 20, 2016. Since the construction site was next to the existing tower, engineers had to prevent it from affecting operation in the old tower. The new ATC tower structure adopted the slip-formed method, building at a rate of 10 to 15 centimeters per hour. The cylinder was completed in about 20 days, under 24-hour non-stop working progress. The most challenging part of the work was to fight against strong winds at a 55-meter height above ground. Yet, the engineers overcame it and completed the task in November 2019. The control room of the new tower is 2.5 times bigger and 1.4 times higher than the old one. It provides a smoother operating environment plus superior vision. Weather observers relentlessly monitor weather conditions in the observation room, providing real-time weather information for takeoff and landing traffic. To ensure 24-7 non-stop air traffic services, both uninterrupted power supply and backup systems have been installed. To monitor traffic movements on the air side, weather condition and navigation aids equipment. Various systems were set up on the old tower consoles. The new tower comes with a brand new tower automation system, TAS, which integrates 15 critical systems, enhancing operation efficiency and safety. TAS integrates and displays information on a single traffic display. Aerodrome field lighting system an instrument landing system can be directly controlled through TAS. The 360-degree tower simulator is built to improve controllers' capability. Controllers can experience training like real operations through the 3D system and scenarios. To ensure a seamless air traffic service while undergoing transfer from the old to the new tower, the transfer was carried out at night during off-peak hours.
Thanks for over 40 years of air traffic services provided by the old tower. The new tower will continue the job with higher efficiency, more safety, and better quality. Under the premise of safety, ANWS will work relentlessly to provide innovative and considerate air traffic services. We aim to achieve the vision of world-class flight safety, first-class air traffic service.